meet the fourth and final character to be revealed going into Bloodline Champions Open Beta, and it is none other than the Seeker. As you can see, the Seeker is an archer, so it comes under the range archetype, and it has a huge bow, and for that reason, I feel somewhat connected with the character, and definitely enjoy playing it. So the first ability you saw there was just Seeker Strike, a simple arrow bound to left mouse button. The right mouse button though turns that strike into a fire arrow that travels through opponents and when hits an opponent will leave a scorching ground behind dealing damage over time. The space barrow ability is Blitz and increases the seeker's movement speed by 100% and when he travels through opponents will incapacitate them for a short period of time. And this ability you saw now is the AoE ability, Ice Arrow. Another AoE ability bound to E which is more of a crowd control ability is Multi-Shot. As you can see the Seeker fired off multiple arrows and when they hit opponents it knocked them back and slowed them slightly. And that trance effect you saw there was Illusion bound to R. That's your defensive ability for the Seeker and it can negate incoming attack. But what's important about the Seeker Strike is that when you connect with three arrows you can proc a double cast. As you can see here I casted two fire arrows and these are special abilities. What double cast is, is once you've connected with three Seeker Strikes, you're able to turn any of your special abilities into a double cast. And as you can see demonstrated here, I've used two Ice Arrows. So by hitting three Seeker Strikes, I'm able to unload a lot of damage and really mix up the playstyle of the Seeker. The Seeker also has two EX abilities. The first one there was Lightning Arrow. That's the EX of Fire Arrow. That then turns it into a Lightning Arrow that bounces between opponents. And this EX ability is the EX of Ice Arrow. It's called Frost Arrow. And when it connects with opponents, won't just slow them, won't actually incapacitate them. A great ground control of it. The Seeker, like all other bloodlines, also has an ultimate. This ultimate is called Rapid Fire. Rapid Fire increases the movement speed and attack speed of the Seeker for all abilities. This means that he's able to shoot off fire arrows, multi arrows, ice arrows incredibly fast, making him hugely dangerous on the battlefield. So let's take the Seeker into a 2v5 matchup and see just how he plays. Because it's 2v5, I'm playing with my friend. It happens to be a computer controlled bot called Iggy the Igniter. And I like him a lot. So I'm going to start off with a Ice Arrow into a multi shot. This is pushed back half the team and actually left the Vanguard very isolated. So using a Blitz, I put him in place where me and Iggy get the first kill. Now the rest of the cold team are coming over to challenge us, but they've all lined themselves up nicely for a fire arrow. This has done a huge amount of damage and built my ultimate buff. So unleashing my ultimate, I'm able to pick up a quick kill here onto the engineer. And pushing the herald away from the igniter, he's a potential kill as well. And there goes the igniter. So I'm pretty sure that Iggy got the kill onto the herald since it's only the gunner to find. And we're picking him up nice and easily there at the end of the round and bask in our glory. And since I've got a huge bow, I probably did huge damage. Uh, oh, the bot did more damage than me. That must be what my girlfriend meant when she said size doesn't matter. <laughs>